What's up guys? We're back with another video today. Um, so we've been fixing the Miata up a bunch. I know that that's been most of the videos. Um, you know, it'd be really exciting if we were actually installing new parts for once. And today we are! Today we're doing Mac valves! Mac. What is this silly little thing? You know, it's it's a boost controller. It's It's a bird. It's a plane. Yeah, so anyway, today we're installing a Mac valve in the Miata. Um, what this is going to do, it's going to allow me to build more boost. Uh, simply put, more boost equals more power. I've been getting the car fixed, and today we're actually going to be installing a Mac valve, and this is the last piece that I've been kind of putting off for a while because I haven't been wanting to do it. But this is the last piece that we've been needing to do to, for me to want to bring it off to a tuner, and I should hopefully be able to make about 220 to 250 horsepower on my Miata which will be really exciting, a lot of fun, and hopefully we can stop worrying about drivability and move on to the fun stuff like seats and harnesses and maybe some aero stuff, because that stuff's cool, you know? Car, car has got some cool stuff under the hood, but not some cool stuff on the outside, kind of plain Jane. So anyway, got one of these. All the links are gonna be in the description. Okay, our Mac valve. Careful kids, could cut yourself. Let's see what we get in the box. Probably no instructions, and I will show you guys how to wire it. And again, the links will be in the description down below for the website um, where you can find all of the good, the good information. So anyway, you get a box, Mac valve looks really professional and really doesn't tell you what it does. And in it, you get a nice little bag and a nice little valve. Now this is basically the same exact thing that you'll get from like AEM or any of the other big manufacturers. And it's got three ports on it. So this is a three port Mac valve. They make a four port. They are a little different. So keep in mind and do a little research on your application for me, because I'm internally waste gated. I only have a reference line and an output line. I don't really have that issue. So um, you got three ports. You're gonna have an in and out and a um, vent port. And so you'll you'll take air in one side um, and it'll bleed off a little bit to allow you to build extra boost and out the other. So the other things that you're gonna need along with that is you'll need some hose barbs. Got a couple of those. And you don't need this piece, but I also ordered this guy which is supposed to be a vent or a filter for your vent because um, otherwise you just kind of have this hole in your Mac valve. Anyway, so you get this little screen filter thing that screws into one side and it's got two wires on it and so one will go to a ground and then one is your signal to your ECU. I think that's right. Or is one from the, one might be a 12 volt signal and then the other one might be an output, like a sensor. I don't know, I have to look it up. I'm pretty certain that's the way it is. And we'll show you how to put this on a toggle switch so you guys can have wastegate pressure and a high boost setting, so where this is actually active and then we'll have to get creative with a mounting solution for this guy, because, yeah, make it look nice. Anyway, let's get started. Okay guys, so first thing we gotta do is we have to build a bracket. Uh, kinda have a nook and cranny I wanna mount this into, but either way we're just gonna build a basic L bracket out of some flat stock aluminum. Um, so what I'm thinking is I'll put this right about here, Actually, I like. We will put this about here. <laughs> Drill a couple holes right there and there. Maybe I'll just throw a zip tie around that, and then I'll use zip ties to hold this down into it. And then I'll chop this thing about an inch lower, um, round off all the corners, and bend it in a vise. Made two new holes and we're gonna zip tie our valve onto it like so, so that we have a nice little bracket to hang on to. Okay guys, so there is my Mac valve. It's all installed in the chassis, um, just bolted into one of the factory mounts. Um, so now we just have to run the lines 
So, uh, so this line is number three. So this is going to go down onto your charge piping somewhere. So in this case, I'm gonna take the bottom half of this line and run it up here over to this side. And then this side is gonna go out to your wastegate. So it's gonna run from here to here. And I don't think I actually have hose right now. So I'm gonna have to do that at a later time. Um, but we are still gonna run the wires um, into the cabin onto a switch and hook them up to the ECU. So let's go ahead and get started with that. I've showed you guys how to solder before, so I will be back once I've got all the soldering done um, and I've got the whole circuit wired up. Uh, see you then. Okay, diagrams, my favorite. So on the Mac valve, it's got three ports on it. The number one port over here is going to be your bleed off port. Um, so we'll just make a note of that. Um, and what that's going to do is it's going to bleed the air going between the other two lines. Um, the second port, which is on your left hand side over here, is going to be the line to your waste gate. And the third port over here, that is going to be your boost source or your reference source. So the line coming off like your charge piping, somewhere off of that, it's gonna go into that hose. Um, now, for the wiring, as you can see, there's only two wires coming out of it. They're the exact same colors, and that might be kind of confusing to some people. Um, generally, what that means is that it doesn't really matter which wire does what in this circuit, um, meaning that one's usually a ground and one's usually a power supply. In this case, one wire is going to be a 12 volt source, and the other one is going to be a um, signal from the ECU. Um, so for the, uh, for mega squirts, it'll be like your number seven pin on your options plug. If I remember right, you'll have to look at it for your other ECUs. Um, and so the circuit's going to look kind of something like this. So here's our ECU and here is the Mac valve and we have 12 volt source. So Mac valve has two wires, right? So this one's going to go over here and it doesn't matter which one. And this is going to be your um, uh, pulse. It's like the PWM for the boost control solenoid um, is I think what it's called. And it's like a grounding signal. Um, and then the 12 volt source over here, you are going to put an inline switch on it. Um, and what this will do, if you put a switch from your 12 volt, is this will allow you to have a high and a low boost setting um, or waste gate and um, whatever you set it to in your ECU. Um, and so, you, you know, we could run the seven pounds, which is what my waste gate is, and then flip it on. And then all of a sudden we're making like 12 pounds or 10 pounds or 30 pounds if that's what your motor can hold. Um, so I'm gonna be shooting for a setup where I can make about 180, 190 um, on just the wastegate, and then a setup where I can make about 220 to 250 um, controlling the boost, which is what I've been waiting for for my, um, uh, for, for getting the cartoon. Um, so let's get started. So once you get your valve all installed, um, it should look kind of like this, except for you should also run your lines. Um, so like I was saying before, you get two wires. One wire is going to run to a switch, and then from that switch is going to run to your PWM um, signal from your ECU. And then the other one is going to run to a 12 volt source wire. And then once again, um, to boost reference and then to your wastegate. And so that's what's going to control it on your ECU. Um, I haven't hooked up my vacuum lines yet just simply because I'm waiting till I take it to a tuner to do that because uh, I don't feel really comfortable messing with it with the current state of the tune on my car. Um, to test the valve though, so plug in your laptop, turn the ignition on, and if you're running Mega Squirt, I can show you how to do it real quick because that's what I have. Um, Coming to Tuner Studio, should look something like this. Uh, real similar if you're on a PC. Um, and then I was just talking to my tuner and he says you can go into over here into test mode and output test mode IO and then you want to enable test mode right here 
and then you want to set this to about 19.5 um, I left it on 11.1 just because mine's really loud I don't know if that's normal or not assuming it is um, and then you come over here to where it says boost right here and you hit pulsed and then if you turn your switch on you should hear the valve ticking and then if you come over here into your cabin and you flip your switch right here the ticking goes away which means that you which that means that you've wired your circuit correctly um, and you're good to go uh, now you can start setting up all the tuning options and you can control like boost by gear etc etc um, there's a bunch of other cool things you can do you can also like change how much boost you want on at like what RPM and a whole bunch of other things that you can do so like if you have like a 500 horsepower car you can maintain traction um, anyway so that's gonna be it for today I'm sorry there was nothing really like exciting in this video other than just another install video um, but hey the car should be able to make 220 to 250 horsepower once I just connect those vacuum lines um, and you're good to go um, so that's it for this video let me know what else you guys want to see in the comments down below. This car is still not finished. I've got more plans for it. Bailey! Hi! Hi! Why are you? Okay, let's get started. Here's the Mac valve. Okay guys, also David from the future, I realized that I never showed a clip of this thing fully installed because I left the vacuum lines off of it because I didn't intend to put them on until the day of and I also just didn't have vacuum lines for the day I was building it. So here's the actual outcome of this now that they're all installed. We have our two vacuum lines here. We have this one coming in, which this guy goes down to the outlet of the turbo so this is going to be the boost pressure reference line in your piping and this is going to go to your wastegate so the one on the side here goes to your wastegate yeah so anyway that's how you install the hoses for it um thanks for watching like comment subscribe anyway links down below remember to like comment subscribe let me know if you didn't like the video let me know what you guys want to see I lost, or actually I didn't lose the footage, um, I was doing the turbo reinstall video this last weekend for the Forester. It's up and running, it feels great, but I realized that I didn't have the mic on for like half of the footage, so it's basically unusable, so I wasn't going to post a video. I can post the footage if you guys say you guys want it down below. Um, if not, I'm just gonna let it go and move on to the next stuff, which I don't remember off the top of my head what it was, but I have another video, guys, for you guys to get up. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.